Tom with here to talk about the S14 G2. This is our latest generation of the very popular recreational touring boat, the S14. Let's run down through its features really quick and then we'll add some other stuff in. Here we go. Up here in the barrel we have nice comfortable soft grip handles for double carries or a good place to tie down when you're using a bow line. Then we have a perimeter line that goes around the outside of the boat. This is uh, in case you should have an out of boat experience, as is the sealed foredeck hatch and area. There is a bulkhead in the boat right here to make sure this stays a watertight compartment. Coming up here onto the foredeck, we have some bungee for anything you might want to put up here, including a chart or some other kind of mat or any other stuff you want to carry with you. Foredeck hatch opens quite easily. Tethered so you don't lose it, and a solid fiberglass casing inside. Great place to put sunscreen, sunglasses, snack, phone, that kind of thing. Easy to access when paddling. Drop in, rotate, lock. Full bungee for stuff. Nice big cockpit area, as you can see, for thigh braces for those that wanted some lateral control of their boat for rolling or edging, extreme edging, things like that. And then in the cockpit also, you can see the extra water bottle holder, the nice comfy seat pad. And going a little deeper in here, we have the heel pad uh, and the Smart Tracker adjustable press. These allow you to steer the boat if you should have the optional rudder. Way on down there is the bulkhead. This is our least expensive Advantage construction. Nice and stiff, nice and light, and uh, very robust skate control right here and then we have a paddle recess here for folks that want to do paddle re-entries or need a place to secure their paddle while doing something climbing in or out of the boat possibly. On the back here we have a lockable spot so you can lock the boat down using this bar and more bungees. More perimeter line in case you should have that out of boat experience. Right behind the seat back here that's adjustable is the bulkhead. So you can hear I'm banging it. That seals off this compartment right here. So if you did have that out of boat experience, the boat stays nice and high on the water. Huge hatch, get in and out of that area, and more bungee on the back in case you wanted to carry a spare paddle or some pole of some sort. Handle on the back to make carrying easier. And these are guidelines for the rudder if you should need it. Right here we have the attachment for the optional rudder. This is where the bare net goes for the rudder pin and we'll talk about that later. And we've plumbed out the stern a little bit on this boat to uh, make it work slightly better with a rudder. I'm gonna go a little further forward, back to the skeg control. The skegs are standard on this boat, all the way down. A lot of folks use these just to paddle the boat straight. It makes life a lot easier for you. More advanced paddlers will even trim it a little bit to allow for the wind and make it so they just paddle the boat straight regardless of what the wind's doing. The hull on this boat, a couple of changes like I stated in the stern here. We have the slightly more plumb stern to help with uh, use with the rudder and give us a little more waterline length. We kept the boat a little beamier through here to help it uh, be nice and stable on, on an edge or something like that and also increase the carrying capacity. And we have a very wide section through here to make its primary stability nice and good for recreational paddlers and have a good time with it, feel nice and safe. Uh, up in the bow, a couple of little changes, a little more volume through here for everything and increase the waterline length a little bit just to uh, help with that carrying capacity and uh, make it a little more efficient. S14 Generation 2 Lightweight Recreational Recording